the judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one Supreme Court and in such inferior courts as a Congress may from time to time ordain and establish. The judges, both of the Supreme and inferior courts, shall hold their offices during good behavior and shall at stated times receive for their services a compensation which shall not be diminished during their continuance in office. Just as a legislative branch was created in Article 1 and the executive in Article 2, the judicial branch is created in Article 3. Now, what is this judicial power that has been vested by this article? Well, from Webster's 1828 Dictionary, we find the judiciary is that branch of government which is concerned in the trial and determination of controversies between parties and of criminal prosecutions, the system of courts of justice in a government. The role of the judiciary is twofold, the prosecution of crimes and the determination of controversies. While the prosecution of federal crimes does happen in the federal judiciary, most of the cases we see coming out of these courts have to do with controversies, disputes, or disagreements. That means, as I believe more than one Supreme Court nominee has stated, the role of the courts is primarily that of an umpire. Now picture this. A base runner is charging toward home plate. The catcher is standing over the plate, waiting to receive the throw from the outfield. In less than a second, the ball enters the catcher's mitt, and he immediately sweeps down to tag the runner, sliding into home plate with his arm outstretched to sweep across it. The base runner believes he is safe, while the catcher believes he tagged the runner out. We have a controversy. What we need is a disinterested third party, someone who knows the rules and can look at the evidence to decide the controversy. This is the role of the umpire. He knows the rules of the game. Things like the ball must be in the mitt to legally tag someone out and that the base runner must physically touch home plate. The umpire also has access to the evidence and the memory of what he observed in the split-second interaction. Based on this information, he must decide if the runner is safe or out. Then the umpire will announce this decision with a, a grand gesture and a loud call. And to no one's surprise, the loser of the decision will immediately confront the umpire to appeal it, possibly even appealing to other judges to confirm their position. This is actually a very good analogy of how the federal judicial system should work. 